Hello and welcome to the Chattahoochee County Middle High School Wrestling Match. This is the first one of the season and I am your host, Kale Ferris, and this is my co-host, Joshua Potis. And I am really pumped for this match today. How about you? I'm really excited too. Uh, how was your day today? It has been good. You got any, you got any tests going on lately? Yeah, I have one test in math. Ooh, how'd it go? I got an 85. That's really good. I mean, that's a passing grade. If I could ask you a question. Yeah. What do you think the, the three top moves that we're going to see in our wrestling matches today? Well, I only can name one, which I think is the cross face. The cross face. Yeah. Ooh, okay. You're, uh, you like cross. What's your favorite wrestling move? Probably the cross face. <laughs> I could see that. Um, well, let's see. Oh, shoot. Um, if you could choose one team that you think is going to come out on top today, who do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be our Trico Panthers. That's good. Uh, who do you think is going to be the most well-rounded team? Like, they're going to be able to get the most shots and all those moves. I don't know. I really, I think Chaco, but it this really, is our first match of the season. Yeah, and it really does depend on how hard they've worked and the mindset of our players. We just don't know. It'll be a very interesting match for sure. We got three teams today. Uh, we got our Panthers, uh, Schley County, Shaw County, I mean, <laughs> and uh, Marion. and Marion County. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we're really excited. Yeah. We just can't wait. We're just really happy. But let me ask. Let me ask you another question. Yeah. If you could choose, uh, like. Let's say a place to go to school that isn't Chaco on the other teams. So which one would you most likely go to for the wrestling team? I would say Marion. Marion County, why? Uh, they got some good, like good competition, like good mindsets. That's good, yeah. I mean, I could see that. Marion County is a pretty top of the end school. I got a question for you. Go ahead. If what's your favorite wrestling move? My favorite wrestling move it's gotta be the shot. That's like the most common, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is the most common wrestling move. It's actually the second thing you're taught right after your wrestling stance. Yep. You get taught all the different types of shots. You got the single, double, blast double. There's so many different types. And the thing is, it's so simple. I mean, all you gotta do is change your level and grab their legs, take them down. Really, yeah. It's just all about the mindset, really. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I, in your previous wrestling match, what do you, what was your mindset? My mindset was, okay, it's time to go, not gonna, if I win this match, I'm not gonna get all cocky, cause co being cocky is the one thing, it's like def wrestler's downfall. It is. If you say win a match and then go up against a dude that's better than you, you will most likely lose. You gotta keep it in check. like. Feel good about the match, but don't worry about last match when, in, when it's your turn again. Yeah. I say keep a mindset that is good. Not like not too cocky, not too like I'm gonna lose this or just in the middle. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Make sure you never, uh, un make sure you also never underestimate your your opponent. Yeah. Underestimating your opponent is also a really oh, big deal. Never do that. And also, you gotta always show good sportsmanship. After every match, you shake their hand, pat them on the back, maybe. Yeah. Always say good job. 
shake. Yeah. And even if you lose, uh, it's like, and like throwing your headgear down on the mat is like definitely bad sportsmanship. Don't do that. That's like really rude. Yeah, just have good sportsmanship. That's that's respect, really. You need to respect them, their coaches, and their teammates. And Doing yourself. that disrespects everybody. And yourself. Yeah. You don't want like to have someone on your team who will who will be super not nice to their opponent. I'm like, it's okay if you're not nice to your opponent, but like in a good way, like being aggressive, that's a good thing. But like being impolite is the bad thing. Never yeah. do anything that could like make your team's reputation not good. Cause yeah. if you do that, then th your team is gonna look bad. Your entire team, you don't want that. So just be polite, take a loss like a man or a woman, you don't know. And I mean, it's really nothing else to say. It really isn't. But if I could, I have to say one more thing, which I kind of do, uh, would be, who do you think has the best mindset out of the three people, out of the three teams we have here? Probably, I would say, mm, probably Slaw. I mean, uh, Sly. Yeah, Sly. Well, I'd have to. My, uh, I don't. Ha I can't agree with that. I'm pretty sure our Panthers have a better mindset, and they might. And in my opinion, they probably have a better time like wrestling, because we got a great coach. We got Coach Berm down there. Coaching our wrestlers, teaching them. Coach Jameson, too. And Coach Jameson. He was a wrestler last year, but he did graduate, so he's not allowed to wrestle for us anymore. Yeah. Looks, really like, the no much, Looks like the matches. Looks like the matches are going to start soon. Let's see what our first matchup is. Like our first matchup is gonna be Derek versus. Uh, I wonder where the other person is. Derek versus um. Okay. Who's the guy? Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like if I'm looking at this correctly, our first match is gonna be between Derek v Vince, Vince, uh, and Pedro Riley. So when someone doesn't have an opponent, uh, it's they have to wait about 20 seconds or maybe 10, depends on if they know they're here. Because uh, if the if the opponent doesn't come out in 10 seconds, they give the uh, hand raise to the uh, person that was here. So it seems one of our teammates was not here today, yeah. so we were not able to wrestle that weight class. Yeah. And same goes there again, second time. Well, let's see if we can get another uh, match between someone. Let's hope. Looks like we might be getting Devin Greer and Jet Lee. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're here. Oh, no, no, no. Are we fighting Shaw? Are we against Shaw right now? Mary. Miriam, so yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. yes, here we are. So it looks like our third match. No, this is gonna be our fourth match. That was that was actually Skylar right there. 
So for our fifth match today, it's going to be on our side, it's going to be Mitchell Balmer versus Christian Romero. Looks like Christian isn't here today. That's a, that's a pretty large series of absences. Let's hope, let's hope more of our teammates are here. We finally have our Ooh. first match. Yep, we got our first matchup. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Only, only they can decide. Yeah. Let's see who has the better mindset and the better coach. <laughs> Okay, everyone place your bets now, because we're about to see... Chaco Panthers! Go Chaco! Okay, looks like we got some hand fighting. Oh, and he goes for a shot. Oh, and looks like our Panther sprawls. Ooh, it's, it's going to be close. Ooh, ooh, he gets... He gets, he gets an arm. He gets an arm bar. Ooh, and... Might get a pin. Pin! Yes. Yeah, we got him Chaco that round. Got the pin! As you can see there, he pins him, and you can tell that by uh, whenever they're on the ground and one is on their back, uh, both and the pin, both shoulder blades, blades got to be on the ground. Yeah, and the cut and the ref will slap the mat, and that's how you know either you or your opponent has been pinned. And it's a real struggle sometimes for wrestlers to get a pin because you can never really tell because you got bridging and. And you got sometimes wrestlers that have a really strong core, so you, it's a bit it's a bit more difficult. It really is. Oh. Well, let's see what our next matchup might be. <laughs> Barry Cleveland and. Barry Cleveland and I can't see. I think Christian Rom I don't know who's look at the weight classes. See who who you saying is going? Barry Cleveland. So he's one fifty and he's most likely going up against C Oh we that's already a pin that's almost a pin. That's almost a pin. Oh, he's getting there. He's not paying attention to not see what happened. He looks like, he looks like uh, our opponent, uh, has him in a our Marion County wrestler, is kind of squirming around like a little fish. Let's see if it's called. That's actually called him. Um, uh, uh, what was it again? It's just called fighting around. You don't. Re I can't remember the name at the moment. Scrambling, oh. that's the word. Yes, yeah, scrambling. They're scrambling around at the moment. Oh, he might oh. get a pin. We might have a pin. Yeah, yeah. another pin for another. Chatco. And if you look over at the scoreboard, you can see the the points that uh, we have gotten versus them. So at the very end, they compare the points between both teams. And whoever has the most points is the one who wins. Yes. That's not really the original wrestling style. I mean, it is. But since this is a school battle, it'll, it'll be like that. And it's basically like a ranking system where you gotta go, the school has to go up and, and they have to keep fighting other schools that have gotten a higher rankings. And the lower schools, there is a loser's bracket to everything, even a single uh, wrestling. So say you'd have, like, me and you. Imagine we had to go against each other. Uh-huh. We, and there's two ways to, well, three. three. You've got them not being there. That's an absent win. Pin. Or ending at the pin. And then you got win by points. That means, like, neither of you got a pin, but you got the you or your opponent got more points, so then you win. Either go on to your next match or you win. Oh. Get second, third, or fourth. Looks like we got pushed out. Yep, that's called an out of bounds. 
They basically make you reset in the f position you guys started in. Looks like we got a we got a headgear issue. Looks like. About to start it again, and there we go. Let's see how this goes. They're fighting. Yep, hand fighting. Looks like they both got a hand on the neck. Collared. Ooh, it's pulling them around. It's like they're doing a lot of hand fighting here. Neither of them is given the edge. They're mo they're really balanced wrestlers. Oh, he's got a shot. He's got a shot. May our Marion uh, opponent. Oh, that's a that's a that's a full Nelson. I'm pretty sure. Just got stuck. Yeah, I'm. Pre yeah, I, no, it was the headgear. I thought it was a full Nelson. It looks like we're getting the headgear foul, and that's not a good thing because if you get too many of those, we get points taken off. Against who? Huh? Against who? Our, uh, our, we get points taken off of our our score up there. Okay. And I guess we'll see. Who really comes out on top? Since we've we've already had two headgear penalties, and that's not good. I'm pretty it's sure really if not. it's three, then we lose a point. And but if they get a fourth headgear penalty, that'll that's uh, it. They have to forfeit the match, and the other person wins. So, we, but we don't not we do not want that happening. So let's hope it doesn't happen again. Let's hope his headgear is on tight. I think it's his hair. Yeah, my, uh, his, he has got a lot of hair. Ooh, looks like our Chatco wrestler is in danger. Looks like he's belling out. He's bellying out. Oh no, he's going back to his back. Ah. Ooh, and that's a pin. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good one for Marion County. They did really good that one. It's like they're getting some points now. As you can see up on the scoreboard, their points just went up to 24. We're it's 24 to 30 now. Our Panthers are winning. Well, and after every match, the uh, the opponent and you shake the other coach's hand. Yep. And that signifies that you're saying good job to the other wrestler. And you're not being impolite, like yeah. we just talked about a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's always important to be polite. It really is. Even if you, like, see, you, like, you're walking in Walmart looking for candy as you're your wrestling match, and you see your opponent walking around grabbing candy too. It's always polite to go, hey, good job that match. Ooh, you almost got me there. You, got, you always got to be nice. It's, it's good sportsmanship. Yeah. You don't want a bad reputation. And you, want, you don't want to give your team a bad reputation either. Looks like we got some head control by Ellis there. That's our Panther. We got a penalty. I kind of forgot what the fist meant. Let's look back at that. Oop. I think that might have been out of bounds. Let's see. Looks like the, looks like, uh, looks like the Marion dude's like hopping around like a little frog. I know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Ooh, ooh, he's down, he's down. He's getting close. It, and you'll see the you'll see the ref like waving his hand like this. And that means that they're getting back points. Ooh, that's a pin! We got a pin! Ooh. So when the referee is like waving his hand up and down, that means we got that means they're getting our teammates getting back points. And like if someone's on their back for five seconds, that's an immediate out. But as, if they touch their shoulder blades both to the mat, it's that's an pin. instantly out. Is it a pin? Yeah. It's a pin if they're if they're on their shoulder blades for more than five seconds. Yeah. So for three seconds you get two points. And four it's three. So the more points you get, the better. But at five seconds, that's when they cut it off, say, you can't get back up. So that's when we're going to end it. 
We're gonna we're gonna finish it. Yeah. Let's Looks shoot. Like we got. Ooh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a weird one because we got our teammate here with all that hair, all that Brady stringy hair, as you can see. It's gonna be very difficult for him to do too much with all that hair. It might flop around when he gets sweaty. <laughs> or we can we can get um. Oh, looks like we got somebody else. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, looks like there was no one else to go with him. So they had to forfeit the match. Looks like we got, uh, we, got a, we got heavyweight, we got heavyweight wrestlers now. Looks like. Can't wait to see how this one turns out. It's kind of like sumo wrestling now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, fall right Ooh. down. We might get a pin Ooh. here. Ooh. We're going to get a pin. We're going to get a pin. And also, if you look at the referee's wrists, you'll see a red and a green wristband. And if, say, like, green gets... Oh, that's a pin! Ooh. So, say green gets points, and then they get back up. The coach will wave the hand with the green wristband and put up the amount of points and why they got the points. And for the other person, too. That wrestling is a really complicated but simple sport. It really is. You, you can tell, and it's so easy to even beat down there. Well, with wrestling, my coach last year told me if you're a football player, a lineman, or tight end or anything, old lineman, anything. If you're wrestling, it helps you with your hands. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I didn't really play. I've never really played uh, football too much. I played it for like a year. Didn't really like it too much. Yeah. But I, I, I get what you're saying. I just kind of stopped because I got I kept getting tackled by the giant kids. I was yeah. always being lined up. I was like at the end of the line. Don't know what it's called. And the, you, I just look up and see these giant kids just running at me. Like I don't even know how they're even kids. They should be counted as adults. They're tall and big. <laughs> well, uh, we guess we're about to see if what our next match is. If there is a match. If there is a match, yeah. There's a match. We got a match, yes, sir. What'd you say? You didn't say anything? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry. You must be hearing something. It must be. So, ooh, 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 oh no, oh no. Looks like he, looks like we're starting off oh, with oh. a very dangerous area. He's got, he's got our Panthers neck and arm, and that isn't illegal, because as long as they have an arm, it's not illegal. If they just have the head, that's, te that's technically a choke, and there's no choking in wrestling. Oh. Ooh. So it looks like right now, we if you look at the very bottom right corner, you'll see how we are on 24 to 52. We're doing really good. 54. Yeah, that's what I said, 54. Uh, and I think we already know how this match is gonna, how, how, uh, the turn, how the matches are gonna turn out. But let's not say anything because we don't want to jinx ourselves, do we? Yeah. And yeah, oh, we, ooh. he's in a dangerous place. Oh, this is a stack. This is a fun fact. This is a stack. I'm surprised they haven't got a uh, headgear violation. Marion. Yeah, I'm surprised Marion hasn't gotten a headgear violation yet. His headgear is down to his eyes, and that's not good because that means he cannot see. Headgear. Let's just uh, let, let's just let the ref do his thing. Maybe you can't see it because his head's down. That position where they were in, where uh, where our, the Marion kid was on his uh, the back of his neck and his shoulders, that's called a stack. It's very difficult to get out of if they if you if someone does it right. 
And I guess we're about to see what's going on. We got 16 seconds left on the clock. Ooh, this is very nerving. 10 seconds. Let's see if our chat co kid can get out there to can finish the match. Ooh, I don't think so. Looks like our our man over there oh. is about to boom. See that that kid that just ran out there? He is uh basically he's called the tower the towel whacker. Basically, he usually goes out with like a towel or a pool noodle, and whenever time is up, unless we have a giant buzzer like this one that the, that the ref can just hear, he'll tap the ref on the shoulder or the back, and that signif that tells him that the match time is over and that they need to reset. And whenever the first round is done, you haven't been able to see it yet, but you might be able to see it here. They started from bottom and top, or referee's position, as you would call it, uh, because and they flip a coin or yeah yeah they flip a coin and it's to usually see, to see who who is on the bottom and who's on top. No, it's who gets to choose. You can there's neutral, which is like both of your hands up like this. You got bottom. You just point to bottom and top. You point to top. And and say someone forfeits their choice, they make a little X with their arms, and that means the other person gets to choose instead of them. Which a lot of people, uh, strangely, a lot of people forfeit their choice. You think, oh, I get the choice to, to get in my favorite position or be in my least favorite. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to choose to be in the one I like best. But it's really the coach's decision what um, uh, position you're in. Because if you're in a different position, uh, if, you're like, if your coach wants you in a certain position... He'll signal to the coach, telling you, like, he'll do the hand signals, and he, like... Tell you what to do. Yeah, he tells you what position to go into. And then you just, like, relay that to the ref. Oh. Ooh, Our guy's like in we're a bad in a bit spot of, right now. We're in a pretty big amount of trouble. He's getting close to a pin. Ooh, let's see if he... 30 seconds. Let's see if he can... Let's see if... Our Chackle Panther can hold out long enough. Ooh, looks like we got some movement. Ooh, he's back on top. Looks like he's doing pretty good. That's three points to R. Let's leave the point to us. Looks like we got tw we got 10 seconds left on the clock. We'll, we're about to see how this is going to go. Oh, no. Let's oh. see if he can hold out. Oh, looks like, Pin. Looks like Marion County won that round. In one second. And 1.4 seconds remaining at that. That is something. It really is. Hey, JP, you've wrestled before, haven't you? Yes. Like an actual match? No. No? Well, uh, I have. And you can really go up to like almost like hundreds of points sometimes. The highest amount of points I've ever actually gotten in a wrestling match is 17. It's really difficult to get a lot of points fast because... Do you get three rounds plus an overtime match if you're both either tied and haven't pinned? Because if you're tied in points, no one can win. But there, if you get, if there is keep going and none of them can make can get oh. points, ooh, this is a per, this is a pretty energetic match. Yeah. And so if no, neither of them can score points, they go into sudden elimination. That basically means so, as soon as someone gets points. So it's basically sudden death. Basically, like Super Smash Bros. You know, like when the, the fire starts like coming around the screen. It's basically that. You have to get points. You have to get... As soon as someone gets at least one point, they win. But if no one can get points and they're stuck in the, uh, in the grip position... They're eventually, it's a, after, after like 20 rounds. I've seen a match go to 20 rounds. And after 20, it's called ref's decision or uh, judge's decision. Basically where like the ref and the uh, scorekeepers, they come to a decision like who wins, who they think did the most yes. like attacking and uh, work. They'll go to that and they'll see. Ooh, looks like we got some bleeding actually. As you can see, our little friend down there went down and maybe and probably cleaned up some bit of blood. Looks like. Looks like he's back out. Yep, definitely some blood. I can see it right on the towel over there. Let's go throw that away. And 
Yeah, uh, so we got some. That's like the first round. We've gotten uh, blood. So uh, we have like a gear time. That's like if your like, shoes are untied or your headgear is all messy. And that gives you time. But you only get a certain amount of that time. So, so once you run out of that time you, and you, it happens again, you're out. Yeah. Same thing goes for blood time or injury time. Say, like, you, like, sprained your knee the day before you went to your match. It's uh, an instant win for the no, another point. You sprained your knee before the match, and it happened again during the match. They give you time, you go back out, and once you're out of that time, it stops, Like, and then, then you lose on a kind of injury or injury time. You can also lose on account of injuries. Like you, you, you. People can break their arms in this sport. Like legs, arms, eyeballs get popped out. Everything, gross stuff. Don't want to talk about it too much. That stuff happens. And if if say like someone breaks their arm, they're not just the nurse isn't just gonna come over and put it back into place. I broke my arm wrestling. Ooh. Well, bear calling. Bear. <laughs> it's, it's like not the most reputable thing ever. Just say wrestling. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of funny. You can real anything can happen in the sport. Well, other than chokes and like punches and kicks, because that's illegal. Yeah. We don't like to see a lot of that because, I mean, wrestling is more of like a professional. Like it's basically dancing for men, and, and women. women and women. We're not no discrimination here. And it's more of a violent dancing because there's got to be so much rhythm and like uh, like precision put into it, but also a lot of strength and power. So it's really difficult because that means you have to train your mind and your muscles just to, just to do this sport good. Do you, do you, uh, go, do you weightlift? Uh, a little. A little bit. I weightlift my dad like every weekend. Huh? 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 I weightlift with my dad like every weekend. Like? Yeah, weightlifting. Like. You do? Yeah. That's weird. I don't think it's that weird. How you just. Yeah, I mean, like, all that stuff, like, legs and... Pounds? Yeah. Like, your physical dad? Yeah, my actual dad. Oh, okay. He's a, he's a retired army, and he, he still has access to uh, Fort Benning. So we, we go to this, uh, we go to the combatives gym, and they have, a, they have a bunch of weightlifting stuff there. So we work on, like, our legs, our arms, our core, all that good stuff. I remember earlier you said... Your dad has a gym. He does. He owns a gym. Uh, against the grain, MMA and boxing. They do jiu-jitsu, MMA and boxing, obviously. And they just started a wrestling program, actually. So, if you want to check it out, it's pretty good if you want to learn any of that stuff. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I, we weren't paying attention. Ooh, He's in a oh dangerous no, this spot. Is a bad position. It's a bad spot. Let's see if he can... Ooh, I don't know if our wrestler can hold out for 30 seconds. This is going to be difficult. Oh. Oh, no. Yep, there's a pin. Well, it looks like... What the heck? Yeah, it's a pin. I think. Uh, yes, it's a pin. Yeah, that's a pin. It's a pin. And it seems that they got five points that round, and we only got two. So we're... And so, right, uh, sorry, but we're going to have to go right to a commercial break. Doctor, can I see you at sick bed one? Isn't looking good. He's dehydrated. Vitals aren't staying in. Well, Miss Panther, I need you to stay down. Doctor, can I see you in your office?
I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of everything. There's nothing left. There's one thing. I know what you mean. All he needs is a shot of prime. Cheesy, get your own box. What are you eating? Scales. What do you mean? No, they're the best. They just kind of magically appear whenever I reach under there. What flavor are they? Lemon. That is crazy. That's my favorite. Share the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street.
Hello and welcome back to the wrestling uh, live stream at Chattahoochee County Middle High School. Uh, as you saw by our commercials, we uh, want Prime to sponsor us Skittles and Cheez-Its too. And actually, this is my first time drinking a Prime, so I, uh, we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see if I like it right now. Let's see. Mmm, that's really good. It's really good. Uh, we they got like Meta Moon, Tropical Punch, Orange, Lemon Lime, Popsicle. This is really good. Oh, and also this is Gavin Prophet. What's uh, up? He's another host of ours right now. He's gonna help us commentate the matches. Right now, they're not really doing much, but uh, they're kind of warming up for the next matches. Yeah. Let's, let's see here what we got. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what our next matches might be. So I'm pretty sure it might be Marion. It is Marion versus um, Shaw, if I'm not mistaken. Marion versus Shaw. I got Shaw right here. Okay, so yes, yeah, Marion versus Shaw. And let's see what the first match is gonna be between them. So it seems we got Andreas Zombrino versus Derek Vinsty. I, I just cannot Vincent. pronounce that name. Looks like that, that's gonna be our first matchup for today. Nice. Excited to see. Sip of this. Good. Uh, and what do you think, Marion? Out of Marion and Shaw, who do you think is the um, better team? I Marian. gotta say Marion County. I yeah. have a question for you. Yeah, go ahead, JP. What is it like in film class? Film class? Well, I graduated film class last year, so I did all three of them in 10th grade. But last year, it was, it was extremely fun. You you get to, into a lot of stuff. Like, not really m many schools have, like, the uh, ability to afford this or even, like, the students to participate with it so it is very it's a very cool thing that Chaco can do we're able to do this because of the sport of I our, saw you uh, on a film people. film yeah yeah I've done a, a few broadcasts I did the basketball one last night and um, I have done other films that aren't live like the, the, the film fine forgotten. stuff like that I've seen yeah. you with that one yeah oh, okay okay uh, we, we were mainly able to do all this cool film stuff have all these cameras had this big gym the mats basketball court because we're being, because we're always supported by uh, our our schools, like parents and students. They come to football games. They get like food from the concession stands, and sometimes they just donate to us, which we really appreciate. Sometimes it's like it, it makes us feel really good that the parents and the students like uh, they like to help us out instead of instead of just going to the school because it's free. Yeah. I was just a little disappointed tonight, though. I brought $10 to get nacho cheese. Uh, and they had no concessions. Dang. And I, I haven't eaten since practice. I, I also I, thought it was kind of weird they didn't have the concession stand yeah. open today. Yeah. I mean, they you, last... Usually uh, they had it open last night. Yeah. Maybe they have to clean up or... I they, think it's just they didn't have anybody to open it for them. That I might, makes I might sense. be able to do that for them next time. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Most of the time, even during last year, whenever we had a home wrestling match, the concession stand would always be open. Yeah. But there wasn't. There usually wasn't a lot of stuff. There's like pickles, nachos, hot yeah, dogs. Oh, the nachos, they're so bad, but they're so good. It's like... I have a question. Oh, I love them. Um, do you get stuff for free at, in the concessions when you work it? Uh, I, you get one snack for free. And like a drink. And one drink for free as well. Yeah. And then everything else you do have to pay for. No, do you. Do I? Yes. Yeah, I do when I work there, yeah. Like, you get the, like, the regular free drink and snack. Yeah, regular. And, but everything busted. else. Busted. What? He's busted. What do you mean? No, you get to get it. <laughs> you get it. Yeah, like, if you work if you work the concessions, they give I'm you one free snack, you. one free drink, and that could be chips. Uh, like a uh, Gatorade yeah, or like Gatorade a soda. soda. It's really your choice. I think you can get nachos, too, any. Yeah. I thought you get one I free saw drink you and with one free 10 soda. drinks one time. Oh, yeah. What? I saw you with 10 drinks. 10 drinks? I'm mm -hmm. not stealing drinks. I don't know. You're trying to be like spreading. Like 10 bags of popcorn. I don't, I don't know. You're like trying popcorn. to be spreading I can't rumors. eat popcorn. I got like a permanent retainer in the back of my mouth. Ooh, Just that good. sucks. Just good. Hi, Mom. Oh, it's uh, that's my, I'm loving. Uh, that's my mom's friend, Smiley, <laughs> as you can see, because he's smiling at the moment. But, yeah, he's a really good friend of ours. Nice. 
Uh, let's see, what else could we really uh, say? I mean, the fi we got a bunch of different types of arts here at Chaco. We got filming, uh, art, we have well, art, woodwork. Art. We, we have, have woodwork, woodwork, and I'm pretty gym. sure we have, there's a, bo uh, there's a bo auto body shop somewhere. Yeah, there we is, have. Yeah, there's an automotive class. It's uh, with, what is his name? I don't remember. I don't remember his we name We have either. robotics. Yeah, robotics we do have robotics. Well, That's yeah. a fun one. You get to like I think, with, I think Mr. Bird is it? Robotics? Mr. For the um, is the automotive automotive teacher? Yeah, and our robotics teacher. Shout out to uh, Miss Bowen. Miss Bowen, yeah. We also have business and technology. Yeah, well that's a pretty useful one. Communication with Miss Peebles. What? Yep, that's. And Ms. if Beebles. you go for the uh, work-based learning with business and communication, since it entails business, you really can uh, get a job anywhere, and it will count. They did a you can very leave uh, halfway through the day. They did a very I have a question big for yeah. you. Um, what classes are you taking? Next semester? Yes. Or next year? Next semester. Next semester, I'll have to check. I think I have to do a mandatory math class. I'm in journalism, too, to finish the yearbook. Uh, what else am I in? I don't remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. What you got? What grade y'all in? Uh, I'm in seventh grade. Seventh, I'm nice. Seventh. Seventh. Math. We got some youngins in here. Miss Barry Hill has got to be the most difficult math teacher. She uh, is. She like, and the thing is, like, she always she's a fun teacher, yes, but she she does have her mean side. Okay. <laughs> I I want y'all to I want y'all to have a class with Mr. Copeland. I've never Best actually math had teacher a class out. with Mr. Copeland before. Best math teacher out, hands down. We call him Mr. Goatland. <laughs> it's a good one. Hope he's listening right now. He might mm -hmm. hear ya. I know. What about Woods? Mr. Woodward. Mr. Woodward's not a math teacher. He's uh, like, what do you he's think of him as a teacher? He's good. He's a, he's a very generous, nice man. He's a teacher. That's, that's good. Yeah. Um, when uh, we got our, uh, uh, we got to choose our next, uh, like the thing bef after club. I forgot what they're called. Uh, it showed math team, and to play a little joke on Miss Barry Hill, I put it all the way at the end. I, I put it at number six. <laughs> And she and and the funny thing is, she's like, "You see math club on there?" It's like, "Yeah." Let me guess, you you want to get in math club? No, I put it on six. She got kind of offended. I think it's I think it was kind of funny. I wouldn't want to get in math club. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's a good opportunity to learn, but yeah. still, it's a. She's just like she's a really good teacher. I gotta tell you that. Nice. Her, she's got like a special way of teaching math. That's that's good. It's not like the conventional way, like drawing shapes and stuff. Yeah, it's always nice to have a, a motivated teacher. It really brings yeah. all the class together. And she doesn't just talk about math all the time. She talks about like her daughters and stuff, all that. Yeah, she's a very fun teacher when it comes um, to being, being a fun teacher. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't get on her bad side, because then she's made like... I, I'm pretty sure she's gotten like a few kids on the verge of crying before. That is wild. But I've it's never not even her, her fault. Like I've, I've never she, had her class. She she whenever someone isn't doing like any work or the work they need to, she'll make them specifically go up and do the work. She won't help them or anything. Yeah. That's but like whenever a student is just struggling and then they're trying. She she'll, will make them go up, but she will help them as they go. And she'll yeah. bump their grade up if they're trying. That's and nice. she'll never give, like, a bad grade. Kale, what are y'all doing on the map? Map? What are they doing on the map right now? On the mat? Yeah. The well, mat. it Let's seems they're having a team conversation. That I can't... quite the unconventional positioning. Yeah, I don't really want to see that from this angle, but I uh, hope they have the cameras turned off down there. <laughs> Seems they're having like a team talk on like motivation and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, and I'd like to give a shout out on the people on the desk down there. They graduated last year. Yeah. And they are coming back <laughs> to support their team, both on the wrestling team as well. Yeah. As well as uh, Robert mm. Urix's little brother. He's uh, helping them out too. Thomas Urix, I believe his name is. They do that big like uh, thunder clap, and that like one person starts it, and then the next person, and goes around a big circle. Then eventually, it just gets really fast, and one guy gets up, says, "I caught on, uh, no, uh, Chaco on me, Chaco one three, one two three, Chaco." I've never seen that. I gotta see that. Yeah, it's it's really loud when you're down there. 
I bet you. I'm gonna have to leave you guys after um, Chaco comes back out because I gotta take more pictures for the yearbook. Just screaming in your ear. It's it, it kind of hurts sometimes. Looks <laughs> like they're going up for the handshake. Yep. Captain Zar. See that coin toss? They got a comically large coin out there. Yeah, it's it it's to make sure that the uh, refs. Uh, wrestlers and the coaches can see like uh, what it landed on. That's, that's always good. And it's got a green or a red. It's got a green or a red side. So it's very, very easy to see. It's very easy. It's basically just like a coin flip. So it's, uh, as I was saying earlier, like it's very simple to a wrestle. It's not difficult. Hmm. I was thinking about doing it last year, but uh, do you know who Elijah Williams is? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was gonna be in his weight class. Ooh. I did not. Was he on your team? Uh, yeah, he, yeah. He oh, did. then you then you probably wouldn't have to wrestle him. Yeah, but I practice and everything. Yeah, I mean, but practicing on someone that's better than you is really good for you. Yeah, and then Jared. I mean, not Jared. Uh, I wanted to do it a little bit this year, and I got asked a little bit. But looks, I had broke my wrist a little bit prior. Looks like we got our first match. Ooh, looks like someone did not show up. Huh. Looks like our Shaw, count, our Shaw kid did not show up today. He might be. Oh, no, we oh, do no, have our is. Shaw kid. No, we no. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we so do. So it looks like we have for Shaw is An Andres Zambano. And for Marion County, we They're got They're shaking Darius. hands. Oh, and it starts. Let's go. Looks like we got some movement and hand fighting. Got a lot of twisting. Oh. Ooh, looks like, Ooh. Looks like Marion might be, might have a. Uh, the Marion lightweights are extremely good. Yes, very. He's he's kind of throwing him around. With the figure, you wouldn't think Ooh, there's that much muscle I'm behind it. I'm pretty sure that's an out of bounds, so I'm pretty sure they have to reset. Yeah, I'm. Um, yep, they have to reset. And if you get out of bounds while you're in a certain position, they won't start you back from uh, the very top. Yep. They'll start you back from like bottom or top, whatever position you were in. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, what are the qualifications for lightweight, heavyweight, and middle school? So, you you don't really see many middle school heavyweights. Does oh. that just be a bit strange? Like. Imagine you saw a kid that you were going to fight on your roster, and he was, like, 200 pounds. Like, you'd be surprised, wouldn't you? But uh, heavyweights for middle school, which we won't, we won't have any right now because this is a high school tournament. Yeah, I know that. But uh, heavyweights, they're mostly, like, they're not tall. They're mostly really, like, large. Yeah. You really oh. have having an interesting he's match up, here. He's yeah. upside down. Golly, what is he doing? That is called a reverse. Ooh, that's called a reverse uh, stack. Ah. Basically, where you stack yourself, but not in a pinning position. We it's, might have a pin. The Marion nope. lightweights are he gets out maneuverable. Of it. Fun thing about wrestling: there's actually three. He has a strong core. There's actually three different types. You've got Roman, Greco, and you got regular wrestling, huh. which is what we're seeing right now. Okay. So like Greco, you get you see a lot of turning and twisting. Yeah. Like a lot more. And the thing is, you get to start wherever you want on the mat. Hmm. That's a very interesting uh, spin on the sport. Yeah. So it looks like we got 10 seconds left on the clock. Let's see Five, if the towel four, tapper. Three. Yep. Two and one. one. Who do you think is going to win the match oh, point between four. these two? It's I think the Marion seconds. kid is. You think the Marion County kid is going to win the yeah, match? For sure. What about you, JP? Yeah, Marion. You think the Marion kid? I'm going to go with the... Uh, I also have to go with uh, Marion. No offense to any Shaw people that are watching right now. It's just I feel like they have a better mindset and they might have a better coach. Well, let's see what our next matchup. It should be just no, 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 we no, no. We're still on the first match. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
let's see what's going on. Looks like uh, Coach is talking with the uh, with the wrestler. I feel like we're gonna have a potential uh, headgear violation with the shock kid. I got a question. Go ahead. For Cal, uh, Gavin, um, did, has anything interesting happened in, in what today? Like today at school? Yes. I mean, not really. I had EOCs this morning, so I didn't go to half of my classes. I, I showed up in third period and fourth. So it really was just a uh, uh, testing day, really. That's it. It was so boring. Huh? It was really boring, wasn't Hell it? Oh, yeah, it was. I was in there for like three hours. There's also a very there's a little very strict rule about wrestling. Oh. So you know how you don't see most kids wearing a mouth guard? Yeah. Uh, well, there's actually an exception for that. Is so if you have braces anywhere in your teeth, you have there's like there's a you cannot yeah, wrestle without a mouthpiece. I get that. And like a cup, it's suggested, but you don't have to wear it. Yeah. But it most likely be suggested for anybody that has yeah. a sen th that is uh that doesn't want to get hurt. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I saw a trap out there with a mouthpiece earlier. Yeah. It's also a very strict yeah. rule. Go ahead. JP's no. just real into it, real interested. Okay. Um, I wonder if they can hear me drinking this on the mic. They can, yeah. Nice. And there's also um, uh, rule, there's also very... Uh, the refs have very good morals. I've oh, never yeah. seen a referee. This like, one, I've seen this ref before. He's uh, yeah. a lo He's definitely is into it. A local it. ref. Yeah, yeah, he. they all have really good morals, and I've never seen, like, a, a, bad a call. ref be, like, corrupt or, like, paid by another team. <laughs> so we, uh, it looks like he's, someone tried to Ooh, get a crate. Oh, out. He's got he's a, that's called a bow and arrow, because he's bending him basically down the center. Oh, he's got both of his arms, and that's a pin. Oh. I told you. Marion. Yep, Marion County. Really good school. So it seems our next lineup of uh, people is going to be, for our Shaw, it's going to be Justin Brown. And for Marion, we got Connor Hagen. Do we have an opponent for this guy? I'm not gonna lie. We might I'm not. Thinking, nope. We do not have an opponent this for this man. Oh no, no, not for this match. Looks like Shaw wins this. I feel like it's a bit energetic. It for really a forfeit. is. Got to take it when you can. We have an. We have another. So another, looks like we got another, another forfeit, forfeit for Marion. They really don't have players on. It team. seems that they didn't have a 113 or a 132 pounder. Huh. I mean 144 for each weight class. So we're going into the fourth round, which we're we're most likely gonna get a. F so we got Tyler Gordillo. What's that? We Pedro got a boy Reyes. and the girl. Pedro Reyes versus Ty Goodrow. You know what? I'm counting Shaw in. Shaw's going to win this one. You think Shaw's going to win this one? Earlier. Okay, let's see. I saw this guy wrestle Looks like earlier. he took oh. a hard shot, and he's got his leg. Her. Looks like he lost it. He got her leg. Looks like our oh, Shaw. Is, oh, yeah, get him. Oh, he, oh no. Oh, what? Out of bounds call, but that was a close one. That was very close. That was a very nice, I like that. I like yeah. That well, oh, he With went like, right oh, in for a blast in single, in but did not was not able to get it. Oh no, he was. Look at that. Oh man, get up. He's get, get up. He's trying to go for a half. Get up. He's trying to go Come for on. a half here, but it doesn't seem he has the Come right on, position. Oh, he's going he's, for, he's going uh, for an under over. He was Ugh. going for a cradle. Oh no, he did not get that cradle. Momentum was too much. We got. We still got a. Uh, almost. We got Looks one like minute and twenty seconds on the clock. Here. Yeah, they, they're both worn. Yeah. They, he knows to pull that leg back. Oh, what is this? There we go. She got out. And she's straight back at it. They got two really good balanced wrestlers. You'll see a lot of female wrestlers. Well balanced, huh? Yeah. It seems uh, that 
they can't really get an edge on one another. They're probably they're oh ooh, ooh that one like doesn't usually clock. work too much. He just hit Looks his Looks like he's split. about to get a pin. Less oh, than a minute left get a on the pin. clock. And a pin. He's holding it there. She's definitely struggling against it. I'm, I'm telling her to play by the clock. She's got 30 seconds left. Oh. No, that's a pin. Well, she tried her hardest, and that's all that counts. For sure. As long as she's having fun. Yep. And he is as well, likewise. Yeah, looks like both of them have our good sportsmen. Good, yeah, that's good what you see in a lot of wrestling. It's really well sportsmen. I mean, obviously you'll well, get a really few well tears every few matches. Really? Everyone cries after they lose a match. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Even me sometimes, not going to lie. As I've never lost a match, uh, I've never cried. <laughs> Well, uh, let's see. Who do you think is going to win this match this time? Uh, oh, I'm, like I'm not well, Whoa, this time. we might yep. already have the end of the match. This was fast. He's going for a pin. He's got him locked. And he's okay. got it. He's got him. He got him locked down. He. It must have been a sloppy. Sh it must have been a sloppy shot from Marion. When you can't get a good shot, you should most likely just give up, give up on that shot, and like. If you don't give up, you're most likely going to get pinned or pointed on. Let's see what our next... Who looks like we do not have a Marion Another counterpart. Another Shaw sh forfeit. That's uh, Marion's third forfeit, if I'm not wrong. Yep. They do not got a lot of... Uh, no, definitely not. They do not have a lot of um, uh, different weight class. Hmm? They don't have a lot of different weight classes. It's just kind of... A certain amount, because I if, uh, I'm looking at the chart here for Shaw. They have a lot. Oh, got a leg. Oh, we're already getting in some. We already get some action. They're rolling around like roly polies. Looks like the Shaw. Looks like our Shaw out, person yeah, is right. on top. So I see that they're going over uh, bounds quite a lot. What is the rules on out of bounds? How so, far do you have to be out? So for out of bounds, you need to have at least three body parts three body over out. it for it to be at like two arms and a leg, okay. and that's when they have so to call limbs. it. So limbs. Limbs, yeah. Because okay. if you have that, then you can. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, Ooh that was a close one. He could have got that's that That's a risky call. thing. If, you, if someone's slamming you like that and you block with your hand, you're able to break something. Yeah, you, there's a very high chance you hurt yourself. And if you slam, your knee has to hit the ground before they do. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's illegal. Yeah. And it's a really big chance whenever you put your arm down to catch yourself when you're falling. Because there's a high chance you either, like, sprain and sometimes even break it. Yeah, no. That's no joke. Nope. People have gotten seriously injured because of some wrestling moves. Mm -hmm. And most of them aren't even, aren't even illegal. Looks like we got some... Ooh, ooh well, that's an ankle got that leg. That was oh, an ankle man. pick. Looks like they're all squirmy, standing straight up. Never grab the head. That's a bad idea. You can never get someone down when they're on top and you grab their head. Oh, my God. Well, the reason why you can't grab there. someone on the head uh, while, while they're on top of you is because you cannot get them down with your arm. Yeah. Because they have the more dominant position. I'm sure in certain situations you could. In however. certain situations, like if they're dangling off the side of you, you could grab their, le you can grab their head and pull them down. Yeah. But if they're on top of you, there's no way. I agree. Then forfeit again. Another forfeit. Ooh, as you can see a second ago, mm -hmm. you saw the Shaw coach. You saw him make an X with his arms. That means he does not have that weight class. So okay. we got a Shaw forfeit. First Shaw forfeit. Looks like they're entering the, the heavyweights now, are they not? Yep. Okay. Definitely. Ooh, we got a... Is that another forfeit? Nope, I think the, uh, this guy over here is going to come over. Trap earlier no, pinned this guy like it was nothing. Yeah. 
I guess we'll see. Size doesn't always matter on this. So it there was really a doesn't. forfeit, but now we got a, we actually oh, okay. got a match between Shaw. So it looked like Marion well, had Shaw, another Shaw forfeit, got, and then um, Shaw got two forfeits, did they not? Shaw got, yeah. Okay. The Shaw dude got hair, like dreads, so that, that's going to be difficult uh, for both of them. Because, like, when they're moving around, it's probably going to slap the Marion kid in the face a few times by accident. Okay. But if it happens too much, there will be a penalty. Because you your, ha your hair can't be too long, or it's it's technically illegal. Because it can get you can someone can like break their finger. Because if it gets like trapped in their hair, yeah, it'll it'll easily break. But seems that he's trying to get an uh, an arm bar on him, and he's turning him around. As you saw a second ago, he was he's kind of floating over him. Yeah. And that's not illegal. You're either, you're also allowed to sit on the person. Really? Yeah, that's not illegal. Huh. As long as you're not like Looks like, like we got a pin. Yep. As long as you're not full sitting on them, like putting all your weight on one part of their body, it's not illegal. Okay. Looks like Looks like I'm pretty sure the Shaw kid won. Yep. There's another forfeit for Marion. Yeah. From uh, Shaw this time actually. Yeah. Yeah, and there's been a lot of forfeits this this uh this tournament. I guess we're gonna see if we can get more match. I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep, that's it. Now it's Shaw. Now it's Shaw versus Mary. Y'all are doing some that, great things up here. And that sends us into a commercial break. It does. I see y'all. Thanks, Gavin, for coming out with us. No problem. What's up, Chat Cast? My name is Kaylana, and I am a shooting guard for the varsity girls basketball team. And who am I here with today? May May. All right, we got May May. Uh, so, how do you feel about this season? Uh, taking dubs, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we're going to win, we're going to state, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're going to team, many goals. So, we look forward to that. You, you feel pretty saying? confident? Huh? You feel pretty confident? Oh! Yeah, we're going to turn up this year. We're going to turn up this year, ain't that right? Yeah. All right, I appreciate your time. Gats. All right, who am I here with today? I'm here with Maya. All right, Maya. So you're on the varsity basketball team? I play both JV and varsity. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How do you feel about this season? Oh, yeah, we've been turn up this season. Yeah. We've been up. Yeah. We you got this confident? today. You feel yeah, confident? We, yeah, we got this. Yeah. Yeah, we We're going to turn up. You think yeah, we're we going to go? You think we're going to go to state? Hmm? You think we're going to go to state? Yeah, what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to state. Yeah, we're going to state, state this career. year. We're going yeah. to state. All right, who am I here with today? Jessica. What's up, Jessica? This right here is our starting point guard. So, how do you feel about the basketball season this year? I feel like we're going to do good. Like, yeah. we should make it far. You think we're going to go to state? Yeah. We're going to turn up this year? We're going to have a good year. That's how it goes. We're going to have a good year? Good year. I think we got it, too. We got a pretty good team this year. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate you. All right, what's up, Chad Cash? We are here today with Coach Brown. He's our varsity basketball coach. And we got, we got a couple questions for you, Coach. All right. How you think the basketball season is going to go? Well, my expectations are to make a deep run in the state playoffs, hopefully winning the state championship. I think we got the team to do it. So, Coach, when was the last time you actually played basketball? The last time I actually played basketball? Yeah. Uh, it probably was uh, May. May of this year you was at the Rex Center in, in Casita. All right, so look, in high school, was you on varsity? In high school, no, I did not play varsity basketball. Oh, JV? I played JV at Stewart County High School. I transferred to tri County. I was rude and eligible. Yeah, um, eligible. After that, yeah, I got discouraged. I really didn't try again. So that's why I be trying to push my players as hard as I do because I didn't get the opportunity that y'all have. That's a pretty good inspiration right there, Coach. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got that. You got that. Oh yeah, Coach. Who's your favorite player? Who's your favorite player? Be for real. 
right you now? Yeah, who your favorite player? Yeah, come on. You got to be honest. Right now, be my honest. favorite NBA favorite. basketball player. Nah, we talking about no, our no, school, no, varsity no, no, team. No, no. Who your favorite player? Coach varsity. Right. Us. My favorite player on the varsity girl basketball team. Yep. Yep. Maya Seals. <laughs> 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 now, you got to be honest, though. Be honest. Be for real. Honestly, Maya Seals. Okay. Okay, okay. Maya, the favorite player. Nah, I like my whole team, though. All, all 15, that's my, that's my favorite player. I like all players. You remember that, Maya? Everybody. All I like right. I like all of y'all. <laughs> well, that's all the questions we got for you, Coach. Thank you for your time. All right. <laughs>
everyone, welcome back to the Chattanooga County Middle High School Wrestling Event. This is going to be our last round, and we have Shaw versus, I mean, I'm a, uh, Chaco versus Shaw this time. We're going to see how our, how our Chaco wrestlers go up against our next opponents. What about you, JP? How do you think they're going to do? I mean, I got to represent my school. Yeah. So, Chaco. Yep. Oh, by the way, as a disclaimer, Miss Berryhill is a great teacher, and I just like to play around with her a lot. So she, don't get mad at her or anything. Uh, but or oh, who's our first match? It seems that it's Skyler as our first first wrestler. That, that's Skyler. Yep. That's not Skyler. That's Skyler versus. That's not Skyler. That that has to be Skyler. That's not no, Skyler. that's not Skyler. Uh, I mean. Yeah, that's Skyler. And it seems uh, that he is on that he is on his butt and he's getting close to getting on his back. We just do not it's difficult to tell who will win and who will lose in these kinds of matches. It seems they're both doing pretty well, but the Shaw but Shaw is doing is kind of wiping the floor with our teammate. I don't really like that much, but he's doing pretty good, so I gotta give him admiration. Looks like they're just kinda hand fighting right now. Looks like our teammate has tried to get an underhook and throw him past, but he wasn't able to. But he what he tried to sweep the lid, I think. Yep. Ooh, and he's get oh that's a cradle but looks like our teammate got out of it. Looks like they're doing pretty good so far. He's got a headlock on our teammate. It seems that he's not, uh, it seems that our teammate is kind of losing his energy. You can tell by how he's kind of dangling his arms instead of keeping them in check. Oh, thou, that mo that had to hurt. Looks like it's going to be a difficult win. I'm pretty, we just got to hang out five seconds. Three, two, one, and boom. Time to go to the second round. See how he does there. Maybe our teammate can get a, can get a good uh, round this one. Maybe he's getting like a, a second win, that's what it's called. Well, let's see. Looks like the sh Well, in that position, uh it there's a coin flip. They have, the ref has a coin in his in one of his little uh wristbands and he flips the coin and uh, whoever it, whatever color it lands on, that's who gets the choice of like top, bottom, or neutral. See, it seems that the Shaw kid either chose bottom or our teammate chose, chose top. Yeah, top. Yeah. And it seems that uh, our, the Shaw kid got a reversal. That's when, uh, if they're on bottom and they get onto top, that's called a reversal. So Looks they get like he trying to lock. He locked. He's trying to get a cradle here. It seems, or he's maybe trying to stack our teammate. I think he is. I think no. He's pulling the head back. He's trying to get. He's trying to get a uh, a nose pull arm drag. Where he, pull, where he pulls on the nose and drags the head back. Seems he can't get it, so he's gonna go all. He's gonna go back to the other side to push him. It seems our teammate is struggling very well, scrambling. It seems we got a head headgear warning. Too much hair. It gets ours. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's match. Must have gotten a pin. Looks like Shaw won that round. Good job, Chaco Panther. 
So that round was definitely a, a very difficult. It was very diff difficult to see who would win. Both uh, teams are doing very well. Looks like we got our next lineup. I'm pretty sure it's um, Elena Rodriguez, Rodriguez on our side and Kevin Hagues on the other, on Shaw. Looks Shaw, like Shaw guys keep trying to slip. Ooh, that's a mat return. A mat return is when if someone gets up the, and the other person returns them He's trying to by slim. using what? Like really bad. He's trying to slam the guy. He's try trying to slam our guy. Yep. He's trying to stop him from getting up because if he gets out of that grip that he has, then, oh, this might be a pin. We might have a pin. Nope. If he gets out of the locked hands while they're standing, it's an escape and he gets, and uh, our teammate gets points. Ooh, this might be a pin. I'm pretty sure this is a pin. No, he's bridging. He is bridging very well. Bridging is when uh, you're almost on your back and you put your head to the mat and drive yourself upwards. It's see, oh, that can, that's not nice. He just tripped our teammate after stopping him from getting up. That is not cool. Um, it's not illegal, but just not cool. Ooh, he's almost on his back. I don't think bridging will help him here, but that's a pin. Good job, Shaw. Looks like Shaw is doing really well this time. Yeah. JP. But I still have hope. I still have hope too, but it, it's pro we're probably going to get a really close match. I feel it might be more difficult this round if we can get a good, t if we can get a really good teammate to go against a really n another really good person, then we get a show. Okay. Well, let's we have, see what this a, match has in store. Oh, looks like they're starting off fast. Some head work. Ooh, he snapped him down, trying to get around. Ooh, he returned the favor and is and is now getting on his head. He's it's like he's about to, to try and turn him around. Let's see, this might be a close match. He, our teammate needs to bridge if he's gonna get out of this one, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. This might be a, no, no, he turned over. He, he, he has a pretty good chance. This is an interesting technique. Yeah, there's not a lot, there's not much happening. Oh, that Ooh. is gotta hurt. That was one nasty mat return. But looks like the Shaw kid might have gotten injured. Oh yeah, look at it. Look, it looks like he hurt his shoulder a little bit. Hey. He almost got, our teammate almost got out there, but uh, the Shaw kid got him down at the last second. Looks like he's getting a power half. He's gonna get him, uh, he might get him over. Let's see, hopefully not. Let's hope he doesn't, oh, that's, m no, he's getting very close. Very that close. That might, that might be a pin. I think Shaw might win this round. And that's a pin. Good job, Shaw. 
Hey, JP, they're doing pretty good. I mean, Shaw, they have some really experienced wrestlers. And most, and we have a lot of newer wrestlers this year. So it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to beat the more experienced Shaw wrestlers. You're right. These guys probably don't take a break but for summer. They probably keep wrestling the entire time. Yeah, I think so. And that doesn't... and. That's not saying that makes them better. Oh, here's our next match. Looks like we're starting off with some hand fighting. Snap him down. Snap, trying to snap down. Yep. As you can see, he's got a very bot snap. art. Trying to snap down again. You gotta, you gotta let go of the leg. You can't, if you can't get it, don't try and keep, oh no, keep, almost a pin. He's going, he's there. He's doing really well. He's doing really well. Let's see if he can get it. He's getting a half. He's getting a half in. But it seems that the Shaw wrestler has got his hand. Oh, no! Ooh, it's close. All he needs to do is get his arm behind the other guy's arm. Oh, oh. here we go. Here we go. If he can pull him back down here we go. and get a good grip. He should be able to pin the Shaw wrestler. That'll be the first pin against, He's to bridge. against the Shaw. He's trying to bridge. When ain't fighting us. Yeah! Good go, Chatco! That was a really good match that round. Shake hands. Looks like we're looks like it's been a minute since we've had a forfeit. Looks like our wrestlers are starting to catch back up. This is going to be an interesting match. Two tall, lanky guys. Let's see how they do. Let's start off with some hand fighting. Let's see who attack. Ooh, and the Shaw wrestler attacks first. And that might, and that might be Trying the, to slam. That might be our Chaco wrestler's downfall. Not attacking first. Looks like they're getting close to a uh, pin, but I don't. I can't really tell who is gonna win this match. Let's see. Looks like uh, our wrestler is in a sit-out position. He's back. He's on his stomach now. That's not a good position to be in. That's an even worse position on his back. Let's hope his shoulder blades don't touch. Oh, and that's a pin for Shaw. Good job, Shaw. Both of the, we've got some really good matches so far. Yeah, clap it up for them. We've had some really good matches so far, JP, haven't we? Yeah. How do you think this going to turn out? I feel that we might uh, get a win from ours this time. You know, I I'm, think that Shaw might get this one. It depends on how brutal the other one is. I think, so he went for an ankle pick, the, fir the first attack ankle pick. I think Shaw might win this one because of the mentality. And Yeah, and, I think Shaw might win this spirits. one. And their experience. He yeah. looks like an experienced wrestler. He looks like, yeah, he definitely looks like an experienced wrestler. He's using a lot more uh, complex moves. Looks like our wrestler's struggling to, to stay off his back. Let's hope he can stay off his back for another minute 30. <laughs> let's try, let's see. Looks like he's doing pretty well staying off his back. Ooh, but that's a turnaround. And that's a cradle and that's a pin. That was a close round, I gotta say. That was some good back and forth wrestling. How about, yeah, what do you think, JP? Yeah. We've had some really good matches so far.
Okay, looks like we got our next matchup. It seems to be a match of wits and strength this time. In wisdom. Huh? In wisdom, like, yeah, experience. We'll see who wins this one. It's definitely a, it's definitely gonna be a strange match. Can't, they're both going back and forth, getting close to their backs. Ooh, our chat co wrestler could have gotten him to his back if he would have, if he would have thrown his legs over his head. But that's a pin for Shaw. Good job to them. We've had some really good matches so far. Yeah. Do we have our next match? Or is it gonna be a forfeit? No, we're we not have, getting a forfeit. We have our next match, I think. Yep. Oh, oh no, no, a forfeit, forfeit. for Shaw. Shaw forfeited that round. Let's see if we, it's, let's see if Shaw, see if we have to forfeit this one. It, we probably, I don't, I think this is gonna be a forfeit. Yeah, we have a forfeit. Yep. We don't got a wrestler. Oh no, we do have a wrestler. No, we, do we? No. I don't think so. No, we do not have a wrestler for what, whatever his weight class is. All right, looks like Jarrett. Yep. Looks like we're starting off with some hand fighting. Who do you think is going to win this match? I'm going to have to say Jarrett. You're going to have to say Jarrett, our team? Yeah. Yep. I think he might win this one too. He's a pretty good wrestler. Yeah. Let's see. It seems... Seems none of seems none of them have had. You might get a head gear violation. Yeah, it seems neither of them have got the head start yet. not seeing very much action here. It's mainly just hand fighting. Not seeing very much. This is a very he has, slow match. He has Oops. his fan, hand locked. Who looks like the shock kid got into ref's position. Oh, he's got a cradle. This could be the end of our, of our teammate. Actually, it, it it might not be if he can't get his sho if the saw kid can't get his shoulder from below his head. 20, 23 seconds left. Twenty three seconds remaining on the clock. Let's see. This still this is a very slow match. If I do say if I do gotta say something, it doesn't seem like. Oh, it looks like we got our we got our towel boy down there. Five seconds left in the match. It's like no one's getting that one. That is time. This is that was a very slow match. It was. It didn't start off very strong. I, like the rest of our matches, uh, like the matches before. But it's a good thing sometimes. Some people have to wrestle slow. It's like, oh my god, we might have a pin. Oh, that sucks. Good job, Shaw. They got that pin. Let's 
Let's see. Yep, we got a match. Who do you think's getting this one, JP? I'm going to have to say Shaw. Yeah, same here. Not trying to say anything bad about our chat co wrestler, but I think that Shaw kid might be better. Yeah, he. Our chat co wrestler just got into this. Yep. First year. He's probably been going to a class, going to our classes for about like maybe two, three weeks. Yeah. So, oh, yep, here we are. First show of it. He tried his best, but. Let's, well, actually, first, let's see if he can get out of this. Let's see if he can bridge out. Oh, and that's a pin. Mm. That sucks. But good job, Shaw. Good job. I don't know how this, uh, don't know how this, this uh, match is going to turn out. Let's see if we do have one. Looks like it's a, is that, I think it's a forfeit for Shaw. No. No. Maybe. He, mm. No, it's not a forfeit. We have a match. We have Skyler versus, versus um, Dash Lee. Skyler? Skyler versus Dash Lee. Skyler Anderson versus Dash Lee. That's a cool name, Dash Lee. Looks like we got. Looks like we got. Also starting off slow with the first attack, beating a, a tried trip. Looks like Skyler's got the shot. Oh, blast double! Oh no, he's back. He's getting close to his back. He's gotten under. Our the Shaw wrestler has an underhook. Oh, and Skyler's back up. Let's see if he can keep it this time and get him up and get this get get the team a pin. Let's see. It's getting real close. Come on, Skyler. Yeah, Skyler with that pin. Good job, Chatco. Oh, we know it's no. It seems they did go out of bounds. It seems they've gone out of they went out of bounds before Skyler was able to actually get the pin. Looks like Skyler got the up. Let's see if Skyler can keep him without letting him get out. Ooh, and that's a Minnesota return. Yes, yeah, strange name. But oh, looks like we might get a pin. Skyler might be coming back with the pin. Or we might get another out of bounds. It's anybody's game. Skyler seems to be the better wrestler in this situation. But I think it's gonna be an out of bounds call, or maybe not, they're going right back to the center. Skyler going down another Minnesota return. Wonder what this was. Oh, he had his hands locked on bottom. That is an illegal move. You cannot lock your hands on when someone is down. Only when someone has at least one leg up. So that's a penalty for Skyler. We'll see if he can get that back. But mistakes like that happen all the time when there's, when there's a bunch of spinning involved. Looks like Skyler's getting the ankle. Maybe we might get, an, we might get a pin. What do you think, JP? You think Skyler's yeah, gonna get the pin? He pulled the leg. I wonder if Skyler's gonna be able. He's trying to get a power half. Ooh, hip and ankle. This is gonna be a very difficult match. That's out of bounds call with 6.5 seconds left on the clock. Well, we're about to see. Looks like the Shaw Kid is down. Let's hope Skyler can get us a pin in six seconds. It's a lot of pressure. Can he get him down and pin him? That's a no. That is time going in, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the third round.
Yeah, this is the no, this is the second round that we're going into. Yeah, this is a definitely this challenging a match. Very close match. It's gonna be a very long one too. Let's see if Skylar can oh he's trying to pull Skylar out of bounds. It didn't, does not seem like he succeeded in that. Looks like they're all. Looks like both of them are struggling to get a position here. Skyler got the got the arm from above his head. Let's see if he can pin. Let's see if Skyler can pin. Ooh. Get him right back down. Yeah, that's that that must got hurt. to hurt. JP, this is really anyone's match. It really we'll see is. If, we'll see if Skyler can pin him. He's trying to flip him. He's trying to. Oh, looks like we've got an actual position regained by the Shaw Kid. Let's see if he can pull them out of bounds before he gets, oh, that's an out of bounds. We, oh no, that's a locked hands. Skyler had his hands locked again. That's a, that's a second penalty. Looks like they're going neutral. That's when they're both standing on the red and green lines and neither of them is on top or bottom. The very first starting position of wrestling. What's your favorite position in wrestling, JP? Uh, position? Yeah, like top, bottom, or neutral. I like being top. You like being top? Yeah. Or you like being top? You like being top? I like bottom more because it, it gives you a higher chance of being able to a get challenge. more points. It gives you a challenge. No, it gives you a higher chance of getting points because then you got the whole, you're able to get out, you can get up and get out, or you could do reversal and then pin them. There's a bunch of different ways that you can play bottom. I say top because you can pin just by flipping them over and... and is some other difficult stuff, but I say top. That's my opinion. It really depends on what kind of wrestler you are. If you're a defensive wrestler, being on bottom is best, which I am a defensive wrestler. I don't attack too much, but, well, here's our, here's the third, no, still second round. We got 52 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if Skyler can hold up. This is very intense, isn't it? Yes. A lot of hand fighting and movement. We might have to go back into a third round. We might have to. If neither of them gets an edge in 30 seconds. He tried to get a trip. Looks like Skylar might actually have it. Oh no, he's got six seconds left on the clock. Let's see if he can get it. No. Oh, looks like we're going into a third round. It's like they both are having a, are struggling to get positions. They're both very even wrestlers, it, it seems. Doesn't it seem like that, JP? Yes, it really does. This is going to be a difficult match for both of them. It seems that they're most likely both tired now. So if one of them can maybe get a second win, they might be able, one of them might be able to win the match. What's going on? Nosebleed. Nosebleed. That's blood time. After, might be a nosebleed, might be some lip blood. But that does count as blood time. They have to wipe it up off off the mat, if there's any on the mat. I don't think there so it is. It doesn't look like there's anything on, any on the mat. 
Looks like they're still struggling to get positions. It's anyone's match now. Oh, Ooh, looks like oh no! Looks like Skyler might be be might 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 be getting cradled. It's oh no oh no Sky oh yeah. looks like Skyler goes down with the pin. Good job for Shaw. In good job good Shaw. And that was a really good fight from Skyler. And some good sportsmanship. That was amazing. That was a great match. This is like a really good sport. It really is. That was one good match. I think that might be it. Is it? I think Skylar might have been the last match of tonight. Ended it off definitely with a bang. That was some good wrestling by both of them. I don't think they have any more wrestlers uh, for any anywhere else. Well, we're going to have to wait and see. And that sends us into a commercial break. Doctor, can I see you at sick bed one? This isn't looking good. He's dehydrated. Oh, vitals aren't staying in. Well, Miss Panther, I need you to stay down. Doctor, can I see you in your office? I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of everything. There's nothing left. There's one thing. I know what you mean. All he needs is a shot of prime. What just happened was amazing. Looks like we have a pin from Shaw, and it seems that we're gonna have a struggle with here. It definitely was a difficult match. My co-host, huh, he's kind of oh there he is. Okay, but uh, we had a pin from Shaw. Let's see, we might have a sh we have a, might have a forfeit from from our team. I don't think they have the. Uh, I don't think they have a person. I don't think we have a person to wrestle. Oh, no, we do. Never mind. We've got a person. We can you do? tell me who that is, JP? Who? You t can you tell me who that is? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Actually, I could tell you right now. He's, he's a new wrestler. I know that. Looks like we got Barry Cleveland. That's not Barry Cleveland. I mean, uh, King Evans versus ladder laddering young that's our matchup today ladder ying on shaw looks like we looks like shaw might get a pin oh yeah i think shaw might have a pin this round probably yes i think they do yeah i think they do too it depends on if oh, our wrestler nope. can hold out they might. They might be able to. Let's see. Oh, holding him down. It's anyone's game. Oh, it looks like he he went under the arm, duck under. He's getting the pin.
He he stacked he him, and that's a pin. Looks like we're getting our next matchup right at the moment. It seems we got, oh, this might be a difficult one. As we've seen, that Shaw wrestler is very good. This is gonna be a tough match for our wrestler. Looks like the first attack was a was a leg attack. Still slow match with these two. Anyone's game. It really is. Who do you think is gonna win this one? DB. I'm gonna have to go with Chaco. You think Chaco's gonna get this one? Yeah. Well, we'll see. It's very it's definitely a very slow match like last time when that when that one Shaw wrestler went out very slow. Let's see. Oh, he's going to Oh, oh. That was cool. Mega spinny. Oh, no, looks like the Shaw wrestler's getting back. That might be a pin. That's a pin. Hey. Good job, Shaw, and that's some good sportsmanship, helping up your opponent. Hope we have another match. Well, we'll see. Is that it? No, I don't think that's it. Is it? I don't know. We have another match. Yeah, we got another match. Yeah, actually, we do have a we do have a rematch between another person. Bless you, thank you. As that shaw She's kid has come back for another one of our wrestlers. She's going for it. Yo, oh, and she might oh, have it. She, she might, might get have. this. Oh no! It's a turnover. It might be a pin. Might be a pin if she nope, can't get nope. up. Oh no, it's out of bounds. That's an out of bounds. They got to reset now. She is a good wrestler. She from did her very space. good, but the moment she put too much weight into that, and the moment, and she just and it just turned her right over. This is gonna be a close match. So, the the gain our uh, our wrestler gained a point because they, she stood up, and that's called an escape. Looks like they're getting close. It, I think the Shaw wrestler might get this one if they're able if they're able to get her on her back. But she seems she like she has a very good base. And the Shaw wrestler has an arm bar. We'll see. Oh, it's getting close. It might be a pin. I'm pretty sure it might be a pin. Our Chatco wrestler, she can do this. That's a pin. Good job, Shaw. Good effort to Chatco. Definitely a good effort. And I think this is our last match. That, yep, that was our last match of the night. They're lining up to shake hands. Yep, that's some good sportsmanship by everyone. It is.
<laughs> this was a very good match tonight. Thank you everyone for watching the first match and start of the season of the Chattahoochee County Middle High School Wrestling Matches. Make sure to go fo to go follow and, sh uh, and and like and like and share and all that and go to uh, Chatco Film on TikTok and YouTube. Go follow and subscribe to them. And JP, what did you think of all the matches tonight? I think it was a good all of them or this one match. Just just all of them, just in general. This was a great game. I really think that they had great efforts and good sportsmanship and it's great tactics, really. They did really good today. I think this this was a very good start to the season. It is. Well, we hope to see you again. And this is uh, Kale Ferris and Joshua Pottis signing, signing out. out.